Hey everyone, it's Laura Messiah and we are jumping back into the Beyond Style Expert Series. This is where I bring my favorite friends and experts on to school you on some topics that touch style and beyond. So today I have my favorite color <laughs> expert, Kajal. If you tuned in to my Facebook Live a little bit ago, facebook.com slash Lauren Messiah. We went live for about an hour where my colors were analyzed <laughs> and we discovered that I'm a winter and that I naturally know how to put the right colors on myself. <laughs> Sorry, I was very excited about this that discovery. But the reason why I wanted to do this expert video in particular is because I get so many questions about color and everyone's asking, what are my thoughts on color theory? And for me, as a stylist, I don't do this stuff. I am more like, I can look and kind of tell, but I know that tons of people are like super into this. And I said, you know what? Mm -hmm. Let me stop knocking it and give it a try. And I learned a lot. So I just wanted to, okay. you know, chat with you a little bit further mm -hmm. about what you do and kind of how we know each other. How do we know each other, right. young lady in yellow? <laughs> we know each other through School of Style, don't we? Yeah, um, as I was, I was a personal stylist and color analyst in England. Um, as we were planning the move here, I kind of was researching and I, I had my eyes set on your school because it was just so amazing. It just appealed to me so much. So I kind of, Lauren knows, I've signed up to every single course, haven't I? Every single class every, the School of Style every offers, every single class stylist, that I, I offer. For everything um yeah um i'm a big fan i love <laughs> it work. and i think we ended up talking so you've taken like a bunch of the school style classes mm -hmm. then you st you signed up for my personal mm -hmm. style university yeah and then you were one of i think the early people who had signed up so we got a kickoff call right we had a skype kickoff call so i talked to you know some of my psu ladies talk about their mm -hmm. style goals That's and she was like surprise i'm also your a school <laughs> of style student <laughs> yes. and help me with my career so we were just kind of chatting and talking and she brought up that she does all of this amazing color work mm -hmm. and i was like that's great to work into your business and i said matter of fact because you had just moved yes to the la area yes i said girl come over here and do my colors <laughs> i was like what <laughs> do you remember i was yeah. like gonna go oh my goodness yeah and i'm like messiah asking me to do your colors I'm like, like of do course my colors. i'm, I'm like, running we're gonna tape it <laughs> she was like Huh. Uh, taping was like, uh, like, but everything worked out. Yes, it did. It, it was did. great. <laughs> so, questions. Okay. So, what is the importance of knowing your colors and what colors look best on you? I think the main importance is confidence. That's what I feel. Um, it just makes you understand it's like just educating yourself on you and learning about yourself what's your skin tone what's your, as you know we work with your natural skin tone no makeup no hair and you don't need to manipulate anything it's just you so literally from when you're a baby to like you'll have one palette because nothing changes your undertone doesn't change your depth and your clarity doesn't change of your features um, as in they grow but that high contrast and things the depth your hair color things like that your natural state is always there mm. and I feel like it just helps people coordinate their wardrobes better it feels it makes them feel confident about colors stay away from like the safe zones because you always kind of over time have like the safe kind of some people do have a safe kind of area going oh yeah black or gray or blue and that's it kind of thing and you can't, you don't steer away from it because that's like you know, testing the waters there not sure double guessing whereas this way once you learn about color and see what it does to your skin like you saw mm -hmm. you can see the changes at first it takes some time doesn't it yeah and then once you realize what you're looking at and what you're looking for then you start getting into it and going oh yeah i see that yeah i know what that does and like you instantly have an eye for color you know this and you can see it but not everyone does and so they struggle with it and then you feel like well no you can do it too you just need to learn like see what it does get your palette and yeah build your confidence in that way so yeah that's what i feel it does for you yeah it, re it really does so i've noticed i've always been a creature of just wear black you know like mm -hmm. i'm just drawn to things that are black 
And we actually had a discovery that I'm one of the only palettes that can wear true black. <laughs> yes. So I was like, yes. yes. But I do always do black. And, you know, being on camera, you've got to wear colors. So I'll buy color from time to time. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that I'd get so many more compliments mm -hmm. when I had on certain colors. Yes. And I would take note of that to be like, wow, that's like one of my my magic colors. Yes. So I ask, you know, when I'm working with clients, like what colors do you always get compliments in? Mm -hmm. And that kind of helps me you dictate get. of like, okay, this is like something that's really gonna work for them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you're afraid of color, yeah, you don't know where to start. So I think that this is a great, you know, jumping off point. Definitely. Like um, something you mentioned the other day, working with clients, like here, people are fearful of orange, you were saying? Orange and yellow. Orange and yellow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was as well. Like I would be, I, orange used to make me look wishy-washy, but I didn't know that I'd still wear it because yeah. my sister wore it or I know someone else wore it or it was in fashion. Um, but now I'd probably wear it in a different way. I, I'd choose the brightest saturation of orange ah. and put that on. And it might work better for me than like a muted version. Again, orange, like Emily Ratajkowski, she wears orange really well because that probably might be in her palette. Catherine, she could wear it really well. Like it just, it, once you identify what your palette is and what your colors are, you'll wear them with confidence and you feel good. Um, you will just coordinate more. It's something less to think about. And I feel like confidence is contagious as well. It will like it spread into every area of your life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you feel more pulled together, yeah. Something interesting that I took away from mm -hmm. my color analysis was incorporating your palette into your hair, into your makeup. Definitely. Which totally, changed like i pulled out like all of my eyeshadow palettes i was like oh these colors mm -hmm. will work better than yeah, others and yes. i've been rocking it and i've been feeling confident because for me i like to have some sort of backing to everything yeah you know, it's like, like why a theory <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, like reason <laughs> when i have my science of style videos like i mm -hmm. like to have reasoning behind mm -hmm. something so yeah. i'm like oh if i know these are my colors and i wear this as makeup then i know I'm probably gonna look good. Yes. You know? Yeah. Unless and you, I do it like a clown. And you saw it yourself. Like, yeah. And you've been, look how many colors you're wearing today and you look great. Look at your lips even. They just look stunning. Like, you do. I tried to stay <laughs> in my palette. <laughs> you say No, but you can venture out as well. Yes. I do, I wouldn't say like, obviously everyone works in a different way and I'm sure other color artists are like, oh, don't say that. But I really have, and I've, it's with experience I say this, not just because I'm going by the science behind it only, but I have, I've seen like if you do want to venture out into other colors I can show you how like right how to kind of bring them in and it not look kind of off yeah so does that, that was, make sense that was something out that you brought up so mm -hmm. let's say I remember so we did the color mm -hmm. analysis and then Catherine who's on my team she was mm -hmm. like I want to do it and her and I are totally different yeah palettes in a color like it's the this green I don't know where it, where uh, it is your if moss green your favorite moss green yeah I don't know if it's okay. handy it's here it is. Yep. So it's this one. Not the this, black one. That green, it looked so bad <laughs> on me. Yeah. Like every time she put it, I was like, ugh. But then when Catherine put it on, it looked really, really good on mm -hmm. her. But let's say that was the color of the season and I still wanted to rock it. How could I wear that okay. in a way that wouldn't make me look crazy? So like military colors, mm -hmm. moss green would be in one of them. So you might have a jacket or something. Um, again, this is just the way I personally work and through experience, I would rock that. Like I would make sure that if that's your jacket or something, if it's away from your face, I think you could wear it better. Just make okay. sure it kind of combines with your palette. So you've got some grays in there and stuff and maybe put a blue red lipstick on a pop. So okay. then people are kind of drawn to your face, your lips, ah. that's looking bright. So it's not taking away from your face, like making it look wishy-washy because your makeup is on point. Gotcha. It's with your colors. It's bright, vivid, like your, your palette is icy, bold. And then the jacket's quite muted, so kind of like put some brightness around and like, you know, wear a pair of jeans with it, your dark pair of jeans, a nice pair of shoes, maybe a pop of color on your, uh, underneath the jacket and then gotcha. on your lips. That will take away from that mutedness of the jacket, but you're still wearing it. Gotcha. Does so that help? Yeah, so it's kind of drawing attention and brightening up other areas. Brighten, using your palette and right. then putting that on, but kind of see that it all kind of works together as well. So yeah. you're, you, like, you know, but I can show you like when you kind of like say. And this, if we, this sorry. here, this is my 
This is yours. This is this my winter color palette. palette. Okay. This is her winter palette. Um, so like you could put like a gray, like a medium gray. You can use like something else, like a green, like a true green. Yeah. You can use other colors or maybe even a pine green and put it with that my, um, um, the moss kind of jacket, like the military. Mm -hmm. And like a taupe. A yeah. taupe, but that's like a pinkier beige. You can yeah. maybe pull that look off and then put a bright pop of lipstick. Uh-huh. Yeah. So what was so cool? What was that? Where's that navy that I that looks so good on me? Is that in it there? was a true navy, wasn't it? I can do it. Right or it was now. called like a Oh the French Navy. French Navy. <laughs> yeah. Um That joint looks so good. Right. So she she pulled this navy. I love that navy. And it looked I was like this looks good on me. So when I was shopping the other day, there was a t-shirt that I wanted and it came in either black, which I normally would have gone for, or this kind of navy color. This is the navy. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. And I picked the navy because I felt confident that it looked good on me I instead of going so default perfect. black, you and, know? And how did you feel when you were wearing it? I, it hasn't arrived yet, it hasn't but, arrived but I imagine right. I'm gonna feel good. Yes. It was supposed to have arrived by Friday because yeah. I wanted to show it to you oh, today. I would love to have seen it. <laughs> but weather held up my package and it won't be here until tomorrow. So like, um, I think I've looked online as well. Um, and I think it's like a midnight blue, mm -hmm. they call it sometimes online. Yeah. And it looks like the same kind of saturation to me as yeah. that kind of French navy, the deep blue. Yeah, I've seen some outfits like that. So yeah, so I'm, it's I'm gonna excited. look amazing. <laughs> so a couple of questions. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're still on my, on my DM. Because while we were, really Lauren, really? While we were doing the live and I posted some things on my Instagram stories, mm -hmm. Oh, the DMs were rolling in. Were they? Oh, were they ever. But basically there was some color haters. Oh. And I wanted to see if we could kind of, you know, talk about what they had to say. Okay. Okay, okay. one girl, she was hot to trot, okay? She was getting heated. She said, you're not a winter. She said, they just say all people of color are winter. No. So what would you say to that? Okay, I'll say... <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, the only reasoning I can give, again, about people of colour is the story I've told you before. My sister with the same colour. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. there can't be any difference in that. I can't just... I'm not even saying a client anymore because I could make that up. I'm saying my sister who is, has the same mum, the same dad, <laughs> with the same colour, and we are different palettes. <laughs> We are opposite palettes. Suck on that! <laughs> wow, so that so is that's fascinating. Not true. So, what? How would that come about? Okay, so she's more muted than me. Okay. Okay. She's got a warmer skin tone than me. I didn't even realize when I first was about to, when I was first learning about color, and I was like trying to think, okay, what what am I? I straight away thought I'm warm. I I naturally did turn towards warm because everywhere I go, people be like, oh, you're tanned your tan, your tan, but that's not my undertone, which I realized only through doing the color analysis and putting the drapes against me, and I was a winter. And when I started wearing the winter palette, I felt good, I started putting things, I would never put something like this together, ever, yeah. never wear red, never put other colors. I was staying with like the neutral palette. Actually, I was staying with more the browns, the camels, the, um, you know, the kind of olivey colors, I was wearing that. And I was looking washed out mm -hmm. because it was just clashing. But my sister, she's warm and she's softer. She hasn't got that high contrast of features like me. Ah, so features. she is a, she's actually the opposite of me in terms of the palette, but she wears hers really well. And through her, I've had so many corporate clients because she works in um, a corporation. She's a director in England and they all just loved the way she started wearing her outfits and rocking it and wearing no black, actually. She actually went away from black. She threw wow. everything out, wow. which is what I was really impressed with because I wouldn't say she has to, but she did. She went for it and um, she looks great. She wears like a teal coat. She'll wear like a mustard blouse and then she'll wear some brown trousers, like skinny trousers or leather pants or something. And she'll wear some orange shoes and she's wearing her Russian red lipstick and she's looking great. Wow. People and her bag, like she just looks amazing. Wow, see that? So no, all no. people of color are <laughs> no. not winters. No. Okay. no, they're not. <laughs> Here's another one. Let me see if I can have it by memory because it's hard to dig. I hope these. that answers the question. No, it does. <laughs> it does perfectly. Yeah. It really does. Again, wow. if you want to talk about, I feel just looking at um, 
someone not doing her colors, I'd say off the top of my head, Naomi Campbell looks to me like a winter. She looks quite bright, her eyes are bright. She just looks kind of like, she looks like she's got a cooler undertone. She's got like the contrast, she's striking. Whereas yeah. Tyra Banks, again, equally as beautiful, she looks more muted to me. Like, but I don't know again until you put it on her. But there you go, there's another example of people of color that I feel like from just afar, yeah. that could be different palettes. Yeah. I, and they're both color. <laughs> they're both like us. It's just, yeah. doesn't matter. Equally, you can, you know, you, you, it's just, anyone can be within all the color palettes, I think. It's just once you identify which ones. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't want to judge, like, we right. want to just get the right. right. Yeah. We want yeah. to get the colors. I, I'd suggest you get your colors done first before. Before you start. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so understand. So another person, I can't find their exact DM, but so, Okay, to back up. One mm -hmm. of the discoveries, so we had like the makeup discovery, and mm -hmm. then we had a hair discovery, oh, yes. which was quite exciting. Right. So I saw the wigs. They it's, were brilliant. <laughs> they were brilliant. I couldn't believe you did it. I was like, I left her at five. Yeah. When did she change? Because she was wearing yeah, it. She I was did. all looking great. I and she managed four. to get to the wig store. That was amazing. Yeah, it's right at the So street. many we people were emailing me about this. <laughs> and it was brilliant. Yeah, we just walked over to the wig shop. So. It's always been like one of my just things I want to do is to like go blonde. Like it's yeah. always just been something I just think it'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Just do it once <laughs> in your life. And I always think about it and I'm just, I'm too scared. Mm -hmm. And without me even bringing it up, you were like, you could go blonde. Mm -hmm. But you said platinum mm -hmm. with more of like the icy, mm -hmm. you know, type of blue yeah. tone. She was like almost a gray, kind of yes. like the Kim Kardashian thing. Yes. And I was like, Oh, I could see that. So I started pulling up pictures. <laughs> like Zoe Kravitz had yes. that. And I've just all these people on mm -hmm. Pinterest. And I was like, I could see this. So I went to the wig store. I tried on some awful wigs. We'll cut in some of that footage here so you can see. It was a mess. And I got all of these direct messages on Instagram about like, uh, no, she's, t she's telling you wrong because you don't know your type underneath winter and like people were going like all in are there different ways to analyze color are there subcategories under a, a season <laughs> okay so tell me more i will tell you more so as i said like color analysis has been around i think since the 1980s and it was quite popular then i think 1980s or maybe before um but yeah, it was quite popular then with the ladies at that time. Um, so I feel like they were quite traditional in their methods and it was quite boxed. Um, there is a 12th step, I think, color analysis where you do light winter, dark winter, yeah. all of that. But I find like that's really confusing. That mm -hmm. confuses people. Whereas if you kind of have like a direction, how can you be like, in, you can be kind of like, you can carry some more colors from other palettes, but that's what we spoke about earlier, which just simplifies the method. You, could, you can't be like, go, oh, you're kind of cool, but you're kind of warm. Yeah. That would confuse the client, yeah. I think and bring a whole other kind of a whole other area of questions whereas i think if you say okay no you are quite you are cool but yes you can wear these colors but use it in this way i think that helps and it's it's just simple it's cool warm bright dark bright muted and light and deep yeah yes so you can kind of combine them all together and bring them into the full palette and it really does work. I'm t showing you the method that I've used has worked. If you prefer the other methods, I mean, it's defi definitely something you should explore, but I definitely believe in this method. I've experienced it and I've used it, I've used it on myself, on so many people, and it works. It does work. Yeah. And um, yeah, I feel I think like of it similar to like the work that I do with body mm -hmm. types. And there's all sorts of different school you know there's yeah. apples and there's rulers yes. and i've even read a book where they categorize them by letters and it has to do with your mm -hmm. shoulders and you know there's always different ways to do it yes. but what has worked for me and which i'm sure you guys have heard me talk about to the point of just rolling your eyes mm -hmm. is like when i learned from stacy london was like the five body types mm -hmm. bigger on the top Yep. bottom the middle proportional or you're just straight yes. up and down no curves so of course there's variations definitely, of course someone's going to have a little bit of a bigger belly but not be considered mm -hmm. but when i 
when you keep it simple, yes, you can understand, yes. and then you can make decisions on your own if yes. you want to explore a different silhouette, or if you want to explore, in your case, a different color, yes. rather than being like, no, you're a winter, yes, a new phase color. three, the, mm -hmm. and the whole point with the within one palette. Sometimes even if you look, they'll say, oh, if you're darker skinned, you should go for this within your palette or you should go for these colors. The whole point of this method and going through it together is we work and we see it together. And that's why I work through this with you. And I'll always say, do you see what I'm seeing? Because I want people to be on board with what I'm saying, see what I see and see, and you tell me what you're seeing as well. Yeah. And we've actually put these colors against you and you can see that they're doing the same thing because they have the same properties. They have the coolness in them. So they're all gonna, they're not gonna do anything bad to your skin Yeah. when you're putting the whole palette on you. So therefore I truly, what works for me and what has worked for all my clients is definitely go with the whole palette don't be afraid yeah don't be afraid and don't don't worry about your skin color and things we've gone through that in the whole process of analysis and it works and just rock it like you know own it and go for it yeah because it does work yeah it was a really positive experience for me oh, i have to you. say you yeah. know because i'm like wow you know these types of brighter colors look mm -hmm. good on me the pink the blue yes. the purple and i was like I have those in my closet. I should get more of those. Like I even bought, uh, just today, my last guest, she brought over this like pink jacket. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I I'll knew that's that. why I liked it. It's in my palette. Mm -hmm. The skirt, I don't think it's quite in my palette, so I don't know if I'll wear it. But it's away from my face. Yes. You know, so I and feel you like, can put it, work it in, you know. Right? I feel like I know more. And the makeup and the hair. Mm -hmm. So I like, I feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Another funny thing with the hair. I ha have? Okay, so I started pulling photos because mm -hmm. I'm really thinking about doing this, people. So my greatest fear is that I'll end up looking like Cisco. Do you know who Cisco is? Oh yes, is? but he has a yellow team. See, and that's <laughs> see. So I freaked out yesterday. You saw that. And He's I was, got that. Yeah, that's yeah. the got color. I'm telling you, do not exactly. go for that yellow. So kind I was of like, will I look like Cisco? No. I'm gonna pull this up. But totally. then when I looked no. at it again, He's I got said, the yellow. it's that. Do you remember? Do you know that wig store you went to? Can I see? <laughs> Yeah, he's got, yeah, that's not but look, but that's look not at, like. But look at this one. Yeah, but look at his face. Right. No, <laughs> that one's not too bad for you. That one will look but good. But I don't want to You're look not like... Cisco, Cisco, sorry. You do not look anything like Cisco. You are not Cisco. <laughs> so you are Lauren, and Lauren wants to wear platinum hair, and she can. <laughs> but okay, let's look at this We one. haven't done Cisco's colors. <laughs> But then I pulled up this. Is this closer? But um, is it as into too, hers? Is it a See, it's little really difficult yellow? because I'm trying to. Um, so she's she's showing, say Kravitz. Yeah. Um. Again, I think it's better to put it because. I don't know with lighting and stuff, like what are they kind of doing with right. hair brushing and everything. Yeah. So, but with hair color, I think that, do you know that last kind of wig you tried on? Yes. The Kim K one? Yes. You looked really good in that. You know you did, you, as in the best. Even though they were Halloween wigs, right. they were. I'm not telling you to bite, but I'm talking yeah. about color. And okay. what was it doing to your face? All like, that's what I was right, right. At. But people were actually texting me going, she looks really good in that fight. I did wig. get DMs of people were like, like that, that looks good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the color wasn't bad. Whereas when you tried on the first kind of short one, it had a bit of yellowness to it. The one that I think um, Luke commented on. No, it was actually Nick. Oh, was it Nick? Was sorry, like, I didn't can see Can I speak to the, your manager? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah sorry. We're, um, we're We'll cut in these photos yes. so you can, um, so you can that really one see like them. had a bit of that kind of mutedness it was like yeah. kind of mixed you need I'm something solid go for something solid and bright whichever way you do okay that was my kim one yeah so look at her face it's still looking radiant all i'm looking at is her complexion and then where's my can we speak to the manager <laughs> I mean, yeah it's like it's a bit and that's just that's not even like a proper wig it's like got no. the, it's all mixed with your hair you haven't even put it on properly and like oh no no but if sometimes you've got to see it all depends on personal taste all right. i can say is color i can uh -huh. show you your color what you do with your color it's, and where you go 
is totally up to you and it's down right. to you. the same with body shapes yeah isn't it what do we do with body shapes it's like we can tell you okay make it easy for you to understand and yeah. just shop because not everyone is a stylist and not everyone can go to the stores and kind of pick out outfits put it together they haven't got the time either either yeah. sometimes so we can just give them direction and the tools and then personal style and choices i i don't get involved in that right, 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 right. <laughs> so yeah but I can say that yes, definitely you can go really, really like that silvery pattern blonde. You will age yeah. really well as well. I've told you that, like because that's just in your palette. Right. Everyone's gonna age well. I'm not saying that, but yeah. I'm just saying particularly I could about. Rock. I could like you not could. color my hair. And do you know okay. you get the women that just kind of just go wait, yeah. grow it all out and that's it? Yeah, yeah. you can do that. You know, that's that's all I'm saying. I love it. Well, so. it was such a good experience. You know. I take back my shit talking on color analysis. <laughs> do you? I take it back. I do. Oh. You know. And again, like with everything, rules are meant to be broken, and you can adapt, yes. and you can, you know, yes. use some of your tools yeah. in incorporating colors that aren't yours. Yeah. Not to say my whole wardrobe's gonna be no. my palette, but it was very. It was like another layer to add to my personal style. Definitely. You know. So I highly recommend anybody do it if you're in the LA area. Mm -hmm right here right <laughs> thank you here she did such a good job and we had fun <laughs> yes like we really did you put this white it was thing really on, good thing in your hair. <laughs> it was super fun yeah. so thank you so much for okay. coming in where can the people find you oh i've got a website it's kajalstyles.com that's k-a-j-a-l styles s-t-y-l-e-s.com cool so check her out mm -hmm. and thank you so much for coming in oh, i'll keep you updated on how my Cisco hair turns out. <laughs> I will send you a photo. You are not Cisco though. Remember okay, that. I'm You're not Lauren. Cisco. I'm not Cisco. I'm not Cisco. <laughs> well, okay. thank you so much for coming in and oh, thank all of thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got loads more videos all the time. I'd hate for you to miss one and I will see you in the next video. Lauren Messiah. So I'm Lauren Messiah. Hello. <laughs> Here I took a oversized Dodgers jersey, which is for a man. Yeah. Put a belt over it Look and some that. heels. We have just brought sexy back yes, you have. to the Dodgers. So, you know. I mean, the Puig jersey has never looked so good. <laughs> like this.